Okay, hey y'all. So today I'm going to be doing an empties video, which is like super old fashioned YouTube. And I just, I don't know, I just thought it would be fun and I kind of miss those days. It's like my favorite type of review video to watch would be like an empties video. So I'm just going to do one. I haven't been saving for like too long, but I think I have plenty of stuff. I try lots of stuff. And yeah, so. Um, hopefully you like this background. I kind of wanted to switch it up. So, hopefully this is cute for like my not makeup tutorials, if that makes sense. Like it's just like natural lighting from my windows and like this thing in the background. And I don't have any makeup on. I don't know if y'all care. I probably should have a light thing so that my hair doesn't blend in with the box, but... Oh, yeah, look at me brushing my hair. Looking like a little schoolboy out here. So, let's just get into this video. First, I want to talk about the package stuff, and then I have some package-free goodies that I want to talk about. So, let's get into... See, I don't have that many, but I have some, um, like, package-free products that I want to talk about, too. So, we'll be good. So, the first thing I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Hydro Gel Under Eye Mask with Purified Water, Seaweed Extract, and Licorice. I'm pretty sure. Um, I've literally never seen that word written. So, great. This box uh, was like $8 at Target, and it has three of the eye masks in them. And I... I wouldn't say that I was surprised, because I'm very rarely disappointed by e.l.f., but I've never really tried a lot of e.l.f. skincare or any of it, um, other than maybe like some facial sprays. So I wasn't really like sure, like you know how some companies that sell makeup, their skincare is kind of lackluster. I was kind of thinking along those lines because it just is usually that way. Um, but these were actually really, really, really nice and I really like them. The only other eye masks or sheet masks um, that I like are the Sephora ones and these are like pretty comparable to those and they felt really good. I have a little mini fridge in my room, like this six can mini fridge from Walmart and I keep all of my eye sheet masks in there so they're extra cold when I put them on. It feels really good and that was like really hydrating so I really like them and I will probably repurchase whenever I'm out. That was the other thing, like I'm kind of going to give my little review and then tell you whether or not I feel like I'm going to repurchase, like I think that's the point of these videos. but. Anyway, so I want to talk about the Dickinson's Enhanced Witch Hazel. I got the Hydrating uh, Witch Hazel that was infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. This is okay. I mean, it's a huge bottle, and I think it's like four or five bucks from Walmart. Um, I will not repurchase this because I'm trying to go like more natural with my skincare. I just recently changed a lot of my skincare to more natural products. And this just doesn't fit anymore. I really like the um, Thayer's because it is pure witch hazel. And then like the they have like cucumber and lavender. And it's just pure cucumber or pure lavender that's in there. This has like fake stuff. And it has fragrance in it. And polysorbate and stuff like that. And I just don't want that. So I love the Thayer's stuff. I think I have an empty Thayer's in here. I know I've gotten through one. I don't know if I kept the bottle. But yeah, the Thayer's, the cucumber one, I love all of them, to be honest. But I repurchased the cucumber one the most. So, this puppy, there's still a little bit left, but I just can't bring myself to use this up. This is the Pacifica Crystal Power Hydro Mist for your skin and soul to get glowing. For all skin types, I love Pacifica. Um, they're more on the natural side kind of, um, they, and I like that they're 100% vegan and cruelty free for their products and they have some cute makeup products. This, I just didn't love it. I just didn't love it. I also got the rose water that's like the, in this packaging that they came out with. I just didn't love it. This actually burns my face when I use it. Obviously I used all of it. It wasn't enough of a burn to like keep me from using it and it never broke me out. Um, so I was like, whatever, I bought it, I'll just use it. And I would just kind of use this when, like, I needed to hydrate my skin and 
basically I would use it if I needed to hydrate my skin before I would film if I knew I was just gonna wash my face right after I was done filming and taking pictures of that makeup so it's really not my favorite I didn't really do a whole lot it smells good but whatever I have other facial sp sprays and mists that I like ten times more but that's okay. A lot of, I swear by a ton of Pacifica products. I've talked about their sheet masks before. I absolutely love them. Um, I love, I love a lot of stuff. The probiotic, uh, face mask is hands down one of my favorite face masks of all time. And that is from Pacifica. So don't think that I hate Pacifica. I love a lot of their skincare. The sprays just really didn't do stuff for me. This, um, the sprays that they just recently came out with and the serums and stuff, it's just not doing anything for me. I see absolutely no difference. So the other stuff that I've used from Pacifica, I see a huge difference in my skin and that stuff just no. So it's not worth repurchasing this guy. Okay. This is the, Oh, I don't know if it's the best thing. It's like, Oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay. So St. Ives gentle smoothing oatmeal scrub and mask. This saved my skin this winter this saved my skin if you're asking me if I'm gonna repurchase this yes I already have I repurchased it and I have a backup under my sink right now this saved my skin this is a mask but it is super gentle it's like an all-in-one basically it is hydrating it's a little bit exfoliating but it's very gentle and it lathers like a soap so I use this every single morning I still do. It's part of my everyday routine now, and I guess you're not supposed to use a mask every single day, but it's just a super hydrating, soothing, little bit scrubby, but not too much, just like just enough for every day. Excuse me, just enough for every day. I love this. It absolutely saved my skin this winter. I was really suffering. I have already had the driest skin ever. And I obviously in the winter it gets worse because the weather gets so dry and cold and gross. And this is amazing. I use this every single day. You will see me use this more in my upcoming skincare routine, uh, which is coming. It will actually be the next video. So keep a lookout for this. It is amazing. Uh, okay, this thing. Um, this is the Gold Bond Ultimate Restoring Visibly Improves Five Signs of Healthy Skin Green Tea and Vitamin C Lotion. So, this is completely full. I use this twice. Um, it's just in my empties video because, like, I don't know what else to do with it. I'm just gonna throw it away. I think it was four four dollars for this whole thing, which seems really great. And I really love the Gold Bond Ultimate Neck and Chest Cream. I use that every single night, and it's very good. So I was like, cool. I'll try this green tea and vitamin C. Sounds really fun. Um, this smells like. Okay, not to be crude or anything, but this smells like a girl went to the gym, got worked up a good sweat, and then didn't shower for like three days. Like it smells like her downstairs. This smells like a musty vagina, and I do not like it. It makes me really sad. Maybe I just got a, a bad one. But I was very disappointed in that. It smells super bad and ew. I didn't like that one freaking bait. I know I have two or three of these in here. So I um, have two of these. These are like the little ones. You can't even buy sizes this small, at least not um, in America. Um, this is the Rose Argon Body Conditioner. This is great. This is from Lush. Um, and this, they're so small because they were in a gift set. So I got a couple gifts from, like, you know, people for Christmas. So these are, like, all the way from back then. Um, these are wonderful. The body conditioners, I've gotten a couple other. Okay, so just, I have purchased a lot of Lush stuff because I'm trying to use less packaging and I'm trying to um go more natural with my skincare and like shower and bath because I know I'm never going to go natural with like makeup and stuff so um 
to kind of balance myself out or just do what I can. Like I personally feel like everybody can, should just do what they can. And what I can do is cut down on the number of makeup wipes that I use and I can use package free skincare and shower stuff and I can use bar soap and I can do all of that. And that's kind of like my goal for myself. So I've been trying a lot of Lush because they're like the number one people for that. Um, a Lush, like it's, it's, next level lush is amazing so it they're great so i went through two of the little gift set size of the rose argon body conditioner and this is amazing i wasn't sure about the smell i bet these still smell it still smells it still smells like it i was not okay i'm not personally into super sweet smells and this smells very sweet in the jar i've come to find with a lot of lush stuff it smells 10 times better when you're using it. So like, I kind of liked it. I wasn't too sure. I wasn't sure if it's something I wanted to use every day. That's for sure. Um, Cause it's just a little sweet. Um, it does have that rose scent to it, but it's still, it's a little sweet. Um, but I absolutely love it. I love the way it feels on my body. It's still not a scent that I love every single day. So the body conditioners I have now are some of the limited edition ones. Like I got Bucks Fizz from Christmas, which is like an orange creamsicle, like very clean smell and then I, I said that like so gross like clean um and then the American Pie body conditioner oh my gosh it smells so good it smells so good if you get anything you need to get that now they're keeping American Pie I think through spring-ish like around this time when I'm posting this video so go get it it smells amazing and the body conditioners from Lush are really great. They're really great. Two more things from Lush, also from gift sets, and you can see I like tore them to shreds. This is the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. Now, I personally don't like this one, but I'm really glad that I got these as gifts because it kind of got me more into, like I looked more into the scrubs from um, Lush, so I'm not going to repurchase Rub Rub Rub. It does smell really, really good. It's like a clean and floral scent. It smells really good. I don't like the way it feels on my body. I think it's, it has fine sea salt as the scrub, but I'm not sure if it's the sea salt or the lemon juice or the combination of those two things because it like burned my skin. It didn't like actually burn me like I didn't break out from it I wasn't red but when I was using it it would like sting so it was just like too intense of like um that like you know the brightening you know you put lemon juice and like sea salt and stuff in things and you want to like brighten your skin I think it's that the salt and lemon combination um that really like messes my skin up like and not mess it up that's not the right way to put it I don't even know how to describe it because it's like it's not like it even turned my skin red it's that it just like hurt a little bit too much like it hurt more than just like exfoliating you know what i'm saying i don't know if i'm explaining that right i won't repurchase rub 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 you should go try it that's the other cool thing about lush if you're not sure about any of the lush stuff that i'm talking about just go to a lush store and you can try it out before you buy it so just go try it out I was talking about this earlier, the Pacifica Natural Beauty Hot Vegan Probiotic and Spice Rehab Mask. This is that mask I was telling you about. This is the best thing ever. It's not a mask like you're, you're going to like put this paste on your face and then wash it off later. Well, you do wash this off, but this is so good. This is so good. It's so different. It's so cool. It's this super liquidy. I bet there's like really none left. Oh, there's a little bit left. See, it's like super liquidy um and it is wonderful it is wonderful it has um it's black pepper coconut and willow and it's to help de-stress and clarify for all skin types especially stressed skin i freaking love this i love this especially of course during the winter my skin was feeling very dry and very stressed and this just helps so much so i would wash my face and dry it and then put this on and you let it sit for, I don't know, I would let it sit for like 20 minutes. It does like burn a little bit or like you can feel it like working almost for like the first 60 seconds and then that goes away. And then you rinse it off and it's like, uh, oh, this also has ginger in it. 
yeah, it's very like, woo. Um, it's great. It's wonderful. I love this. I see a difference in my skin after like one use. You rinse it off with cold water. It feels so good. It feels so good on your skin. And like you wake up the next day, like you would finish your skincare after this and you wake up the next day and your skin is like very much not stressed anymore. Like when I say stressed, I'm like, it's dry, it's red. It's like very sensitive. It really helps with that. I love that stuff. So the rest of this stuff is makeup. And then we're going to get into the naked products that I have. So or the package free. I keep saying naked because that's what Lush calls it and it's all Lush like naked products. Um, so we have these guys. So I got these. Um, these are the highlighting pearl paints from e.l.f. And I got these in my huge e.l.f. haul and they were great they were fine they were awesome i've repurchased these time and time again but they changed the packaging from the last time that i bought these i got all three colors and all three of them i i mean when did i do that i did that um black friday that haul and uh, every single i just dropped one every single one of these has already separated so disgustingly bad and i've been collecting this stuff like it's the beginning of march like i pulled these out probably at like the first week of February for a makeup look and I sque squeezed it out and it was nothing but oil and like chunky pigment and even when I tried to mix the oil and the pigment together they wouldn't mix together they just I like they completely went bad like I don't I don't get it I don't like that I've I mean that sucks. There are other highlights from e.l.f. that I really love, but these highlighting pearl paints, I am not into these anymore. I'm just really not into them at all anymore. I'm not going to repurchase that. The e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion. This one was honestly more disappointing because um, it is so beautiful, and I love the Holographic Glow Lotion. This, the only reason I'm not using this is I've used it maybe two or three times. This breaks me out. And if it doesn't break you out, I would say use it because it is absolutely so beautiful. The It's literally a natural glow. Like the glow that it gives you is so freaking beautiful. It's unbelievable, but it's not like greasy. And the shade of this is really nice. It'll be really nice on a lot of different skin tones actually because it's kind of like a, a, a skin tone slash goldish color. Um, it's really, really really pretty um but it breaks me out so i can't use it anymore and i won't be repurchasing it and then blue two mascaras i have a benefit roller lash and a shocking extensions uh telescopic l'oreal they're okay honestly i don't think i'll repurchase either of these i really have just like i want to pare down my mascaras in general and if i don't absolutely feel like i need it or absolutely love it unconditionally then I don't want to repurchase it and these just don't speak to me on that spiritual level where I will want to repurchase them I can tell you right now the ones that I will repurchase probably for the rest of my life are Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes and the CoverGirl Club Crusher That's like honestly the only two mascaras I need for the rest of my life um, It is what it is so these they were fine they were great They are really good at like lengthening and separating your lashes the L'Oreal Telescopic is good for your bottom lashes. Actually, the roller lash is too because the wands are like very easy to use around your eyes. Um, so they're good for the lower lash line as well. I'm just purchase, uh, personally not going to repurchase these. A lot of people swear by roller lash and if you really like it, then go ahead. But they just, I like other mascaras better. So, so the like naked empties that I have all, they're all from Lush. So... Um, let's start with, oh, let's start with the American Cream Body Wash. I did, um, so I got, in my efforts of trying to be package free, I did want to try, um, the Naked Shower Gel, I think is what it's called. The Naked Shower Gel, the American Cream one, that one is also limited edition for, like, springtime. Um, so I was like, whatever, I'll pick it up. Um, I don't like it. I don't, well, I like the smell. I, I ended up picking up American cream shower gel in a bottle. I don't like the naked version. Um, I love the bar soaps from, 
uh, Lush absolutely love them, but I found the shower gel really hard to use. So I just wouldn't purchase that. So if like, if I had to recommend a like package free soap, I would just recommend like finding a bar soap at Lush that you really like. Um, there's a few actually that I really, really love. Um, some bar soaps from Lush that I really, really adore. So then I want to talk about um, their naked, their new cream cleanser. So they came out with five new ones. And again, like it's all going to be package free. So I'm just going to pop up pictures of the ones that I'm talking about. Um, I tried all of them because I wanted to see, um, you know, obviously I was trying to switch up my skincare and so that went along with that and I wanted to see which ones would, I wanted to try all five and see which ones would stick basically. So the only ones that I will not be repurchasing, they're not bad, they just don't fit my routine. They didn't speak to me on a spiritual level, you know? So I'm going to talk about Gritty Politi first. It has lots of coconut oil in it, and it has little bits of coconut shell that are like the exfoliant. Um, very, very tiny bit of exfoli exfoliation, like barely at all, um, which is the only reason that I don't like love it. Like I feel like if it was just pure coconut, I, well, yes and no. If it was just pure coconut, like I'd, I'd probably be a little bit more into it, but like the exfoliation factor just isn't quite there for me. I just like something a little bit more intense. Um, so it just didn't fit like my mojo. If I want a, I've tried a lot of exfoliants. I've used cup of coffee from Lush for like years at this point, like since high school. So um, if I want something exfoliating from Lush, it's gonna be like along those lines, like pretty scrubby. Um, so yeah, um, it just didn't fit like me personally, but you should go try it if you want to. It's a very gentle exfoliant, so if you're into that, then you would probably like it. Um, and coconut is obviously a wonderful hydrator and it smells really good. And then the only other one that just didn't really fit with me was the Jade Roller. I think it is such a cool idea and like jade rolling your face. It actually did feel really good. I clench my jaw a lot, especially when I'm very stressed or very anxious. I like grind my teeth and like just like do this all the time and I clench my jaw. So it felt really good to roll it and actually relax these muscles right here quite a bit. But as far as like the cleanser went, again, smells amazing. It just didn't fit into my routine. I'm currently using all the, the other three ones. What? I'm currently using the other three in my daily routine at this point. And the Jade Roller just didn't fit that situation. So again, you will see those other three cleansers in my um, skincare routines coming up and see how I like to use them um, and what I like about them and all of that good stuff. You will see those coming up. This is just about the stuff that I'm not going to repurchase. So the Jade Roller, I won't be repurchasing it, but it's very... Um, it's nice. I could see it working really well for someone with like dry skin like me or with mature skin. It does have some ingredients in there to help with elasticity. I'm pretty sure I remember reading that. Um, so again, for like mature skin, it's really nice and it, it smells divine. It smells really good. So yeah. Um, along, that was weird. I also went through one of these scrubbies and I'm currently working on a Buffy. I love both of them so much. I love them, I love them, I love them. It's one of the, or they're both um, body butters from Lush. So I'm gonna talk about scrubby cause I'm not done with my Buffy yet. But um, I went through a, t a complete scrubby and it was amazing. It smells uh, so freaking good. Buffy doesn't really have, I find Buffy and scrubby very similar. Buffy's like a little bit more scrubby to me, like it's a little bit more exfoliating. Um, and it doesn't really have like a scent in my opinion. It's just like shea butter kind of smell or smells like cocoa butter a little bit. Um, something like that. It just has that like plain moisturizer smell if that makes sense. Um, I forget what exact moisturizer it is in there. But the scrubby, it also has like honey in it and it smells so so freaking good and I just really like honey for some reason honey works really well with my skin like my skin just reacts really well to honey so I really like it I like the way it smells I'm definitely going to repurchase I feel like scrubby and buffy I'm just gonna switch them off 
pretty much because I like them pretty much equally. So yeah, I really love that. Really, like I would definitely recommend that. It's really good and it's a really great way to get a package-free exfoliant. So yeah. Um, the, the other package-free exfoliator that I went through from Lush was Rough With The Smooth. Now, this one smells so incredibly good. I love the way that it smells. I don't really love... It's like a solid scrub. And I think maybe I was doing something wrong because it never fully dry. Also, I take two showers a day, which is probably too much, especially because I have dry skin. It's pr definitely too much. Um, but I just love showering. That's part of like my me time and my relax time and my getting my brain together time. So I just really love showering and I love trying new stuff in the shower, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I think it just never fully like dried out or maybe you shouldn't use it. Like I would get the whole bar wet and maybe you shouldn't do that but I don't know it kind of just isn't like maybe I don't know it just was kind of like a weird it wasn't that easy to use I guess it would kind of fall apart not fall apart even it would squish in my hand it didn't really fall apart it would just like mold to my hand and it was like slippy kind of so I'm probably maybe I just shouldn't have gotten the whole bar wet I should have just used it dry on my wet skin so yeah, but it smells really good. It smells really good. So it is, it's not quite as moisturizing as like scrubby or buffy because those are like body butters and Rough With The Smooth is like just a scrub, but it did actually hydrate a little bit, just not as much. Like scrubby and buffy leave like a like lotion feeling on your skin where Rough With The Smooth just leaves like a smooth, like supple hydrated feeling, but it's like dry to the touch, if that makes sense. Okay, last couple things here. So um, I also tried all of the Naked um, Solid Facial Oils from Lush as well. I've tried all of them, and the only one, I ended up actually giving it to somebody else. I didn't even go through the whole thing. Again, it was only because it broke me out. And I ended up, I, I used it maybe three times, and um, I ended up giving it away to one of my friends who absolutely loves it and she has a little bit more mature skin she's like 10 years older than me ish so um she absolutely loves it I have very dry skin but my skin especially on my face well on my body too like it's very sensitive to like thick moisturizers like or my my I need moisture but my pores will get clogged like that from like big heavy moisturizers so banana skin was just too heavy it just clogged my pores like immediately this is the last thing the sandstone bar soap from lush again it's not that like I absolutely hate it it's just like it doesn't fit my my routine I guess it is I think it's the only bar soap from Lush that has like a scrub in it it actually has I'm pretty sure it's sand in there so while you're rubbing it on your body um, it actually like exfoliates as well and it smells so good which is why I'm so sad um, but I just don't like the the way that it feels when it scrubs my skin and I think it's just because like the way I use bar soaps isn't like like on me I guess like I normally like do this on my hands and then I use whatever soap is on my hands to wash my body so it just doesn't fit like how I use bar soaps I kept sandstone I still have like a tiny like it's literally like a little sliver like as skinny as my uh, finger that's like it's basically the size of my finger is all I have left of it and I have it sitting at my sink and I use it to wash my hands and it smells amazing but I just don't like using it on my body um <laughs> So I probably won't repurchase it from that perspective, but I do love a lot of bar soaps from Lush. And I'm actually thinking about doing some Lush-oriented videos, so if y'all are super interested in that, I want to do like all Lush routines, and I'm very, well, I'm going to do all Lush routines. So if you're curious about any Lush products, I will show you like how I like them, which ones I love. All of that's coming up, so... Yeah, that's the end. That's all of the products that I have. Hopefully you like this video. I definitely plan on doing more empties videos. I actually really like this. I like 
this way of reviewing things. It's just, it seems like the most natural to me. So, um, yeah, so I, and yeah, in this new background, I hope you like it. I need to get something else so that my hair stands out from the background, but, um, yeah, so anyway, gosh, how many times can I say that? I hope that you love this video. I hope that you found it helpful in any way. If you have any opinion about the things that I talked about, definitely leave it down below. Like, this is just my experience with the stuff that I've used. So, yeah, um, I don't think I really have anything else to say. Everything um, that you probably would want to know will be in the description bar below, or just ask me in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So, um, other than that, I have nothing else to say. So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye! I'm like proud of you. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. I'm like proud of you. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> she goes. <laughs>